Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook. Today I'll be talking about several light graffiti techniques that I've used over several years. Light graffiti is an art form where you pass a light in front of a camera's open shutter. With this, you can create any sort of shape you want in light. To begin with, I did things manually. This meant either moving the camera around while pointing at a light source, or moving light source around with the camera stationary. For example, a sphere or vortex can be created by swinging the light around while the camera records all the light going into it. I also experimented with simply writing things with a laser pointer. If anyone was watching, these patterns would seem nonsensical. As cool as that was, I had some other really neat tools at my disposal. One of my coolest toys was a small quadcopter. I decided to take a long exposure photograph of it, streaking around my yard with a sparkler attached. As seen in the pictures, the results were really incredible. Not content with those results, I decided to automate my light graffiti process even more with something called a Pi MCU. This board can light up LEDs in sequence, sort of like an Arduino. After some image processing, I was able to make a fixture that allowed me to make an image by pulling the LEDs along at a steady rate. The LEDs would blink in sequence, spelling out or drawing whatever I had in mind. Taking things one step further, my CNC router was able to trace out patterns in wood. Why couldn't it do the same with light? After some experimentation and a custom LED fixture, I had something that could trace patterns out automatically. Results were a little rough at first, but after figuring out the technique, things became quite a bit sharper. As neat as that was, without some creative photo editing, the results were restricted to my garage. Combining this idea with a laser pointer would mean that any shape could be traced on any surface. After harvesting the laser assembly from a laser pointer, I mounted it in a servo pan tilt device. After some programming work, I had a machine that could trace out a very rough circle. Circles are interesting, but a shape or picture would be even better. Taking some of the techniques I learned with the LED image device seen earlier, I programmed the servos to place a dot where a pixel would be on a very simple image. Resolution wasn't great, but I was able to create some interesting and very simple shapes with long exposure photography. These images look neat after a long exposure photo is taken, but don't really make sense in person. To make an interesting display, I purchased something called a glow crazy toy. This toy features a background that glows for a short time when light is shined on it. To help fill in the gaps between pixels, I set up the servos to make X's instead of just dots. With these simple changes, I had an automatic light graffiti machine that could be seen not just on camera, but in real life. It made for an interesting Maker Faire display. Of course, this idea could be taken much further. For example, buildings could be decorated this way, or I could make a device that produces a very low resolution image of someone in light. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed this overview of my light graffiti experiments. If you're curious as to what I'll come up with next, be sure to subscribe or follow on Twitter at Jeremy S. Cook. Thanks for watching.